Hi guys, do you ever have challenges in managing your incoming, your ingress internet traffic, or download traffic by users? Let's say you want your high priority internet user can download from the internet through your direct peering, while your low priority internet user will download through your other transit peering. In this video, I'm going to explain and demonstrate how to engineer your internet gateway to solve those ingress, incoming peering traffic challenges. Using peering fabric, you will be able to automate your ingress, incoming peering engineering with Cisco peering fabric router and design, leveraging Cisco segment routing and Cisco NSO network service orchestrator, the automation software solution. This video is part of Cisco Peering Fabric demo series, and my name is Hinwoto. I'm a Cisco Technical Solution Architect, a CCIE and CCDE. You can get more information of Peering Fabric network automation. Just please sign up to CiscoLive.com and access to the Cisco Live session, Intelligent Peering Fabric Network Automation Use Cases. There are complete slide deck and demonstration video. Before that, let me explain uh, the topology in the demonstration. I still use the same uh, topology like the beginning here. We have eight routers. This uh, lower green block is the SP network together with the router six. We have established the EBGP station across this peer link here. Uh, router 8 and 5 are the internet router. And then here on the <clears throat> router 1, 7, 3, and 2, and 4 are the distributed uh, peering fabric, which is a spine and leaf approach here within the AS65000. While the router stage it is a standalone peering fabric node here. And we have, we use the uh, IGP uh, with the same routing, and NSO and SRPC here, as well as the telemetry. So in terms of the links, we categorize two links. The green solid links are low latency link, and the <clears throat> dotted link and red are the normal links. And NSO will actually configure uh, router 6, 7, 1, 2, and 4 here. So I will use the dummy prefix here. Uh, I set the Google prefix to use a 100, Facebook 101, and so forth. It's actually advertised by router 5 as the internet. Uh, gateway internet router here and for the customer prefix <clears throat> it will it will be advertised by router two or four with this prefix and router six with this prefix six p okay and later we will use trace route to verify uh, the network changes. On the NSO, uh, I will demonstrate the surface modeling here. We have the application model for the application list and information. And we will set up the gateway policy here uh, for the domestic. Here, let's say this is domestic. The gateway node, we will configure specifically only these two nodes to a internet gateway, router two and four. And at this moment, I specifically uh, assign the low latency peer statically. Yeah, uh, and low, also low cost. Uh, actually, we measure it from time to time, for the low latency. Which peer link has the best low latency uh, value? Yeah, you can also do it dynamically with another uh, automation software. So uh, 
uh, but it's not in this demonstration. Uh, and then for the ingress policy here, for the ingress for the prefix ID cloud, we will assign which part we prefer, is it low latency, low cost, or which scaling we would like to assign. Same as for the egress or the outgoing destination, we, can, we will have the menu to select which egress part or outgoing part we want to use here. This is uh, for the standalone. Actually, we have the same uh, policy configuration or menu here. It will, it will apply on the router six. <clears throat> okay, here. I will start using the desktop. And we can start build. First, I will prepare <clears throat> the ID gateway first on the node 2. Right? So this, I will open my NSO. This is the NSO web UI. <clears throat> Select the service manager. I have uh, built the peering service here. We will set up a new gateway, ID gateway. <clears throat> and this ID gateway, we have already custom the menu. Is part of the domestic gateway, and the domestic gateway currently only has two options, two nodes, node two. Here, I will assign statically first. The low latency peer is the AS6, this link, and then the low cost peer in this demonstration is AS-1, this link, it does one. And then I will advertise the customer prefix of ID Cloud. <clears throat> and this is the ID Cloud one. Right? And this is for the ID Cloud two. Okay, all these menu are custom made. This is uh, intentionally prepared for the demonstration purpose. Every use case, every service later, we will custom based on your requirement. So then the changes, we need to commit. Let's see on the native configuration with the CLI format. <clears throat> Here, it will configure node 2 to advertise the network on the BGP. Let's check on the router 2. Here, we don't have any network advertised yet, right? And let's check on the router 5, which is on the internet router. We have Traffic 20. No, not yet, right? Now, <clears throat> we will commit this uh, configuration to the router or to the Internet Gateway 2. We select commit here. The ball is rolling, meaning that the NSO will connect to the Internet Gateway 2 and start configuring the policy changes. Yeah, right. Okay, done. Let's check again on the router two. This is router two. Okay, we have it now. NSO has configured this router two. And let's see whether this advertisement 
the PEF investment already reached uh, router 5. Okay, we have it now on the router 5. Now, let's verify the normal part first. <clears throat> we'll have to verify the normal part for the ingress, for the incoming. So I will trace route from router 5, the internet router here. So I will verify all these three prefixes. This is toward the ID cloud. Here, the traffic flow is via one, three, and two. Just look at the last number. It, it shows which hop of the router. One, three, two, right? And then that's one. This is for the ID cloud one. Same part, one, three, two. And this is for the dust two. Same part, one, three, two. So all traffic flow to these three customer prefix using the same part, one, three, two. Yeah, of course, this is a BGP best part uh, flow, <clears throat> right? And then let's verify the egress, the outgoing from router two. So this is router two. I will use uh, this route to, let's say, Google. Actually, the dummy prefix here, you want to verify the part. 315. 315. Huh? And Netflix. This is also the dummy prefix. 315. Same. Okay. So now, uh, this is the part in the normal condition based on the BGP best algorithm part. Okay, now you want to do the <clears throat> hearing traffic control based on the ingress policy. Let's say <clears throat> this uh, ID cloud does one is the, our gold customer and you would like to have the download performance very fast. So we need to steer it. Any incoming traffic to this gold customer will use our the low latency part here, the best from the internet. And then also within the SP network <clears throat> here, right? Remember, we have the green link here, not the red link, the normal link. This is because the green link uh, are the low latency link within the SP network. Okay. So <clears throat> here, I will go back to the service on NSO. And I will select on the ID Cloud 1. Here, ID Cloud 1. Then I will select Please, the ingress part, select the low latency, SLA. Then, actually what happens is, we prepare the BGPI part policy that will be advertised by router seven and router one. Here is the policy on router one, on the internet gateway one. This is also the policy on the internet gate seven so that all the internet traffic will be influenced and select this low latency peer link as the entry link. And afterwards, from router seven to reach router two, we will use the segment routing traffic policy here. This is router seven configuration. We will config segment routing policy and we will use it based on the on-demand next hope, dynamically based on the PCE analysis up to router two. Okay, now let's comment. <clears throat> yeah. From internet to the border internet gateway, we will use the method 
influencing by as part of the plan policy uh, from Router 7 and Router 1. And then from the border internet gateway up to the peering fabric lift. This is one of the peering fabric lift. If we lose the SRODN from Router 7 with the SRBCE based analysis on latency to select the screen link automatically. Okay, I think it's commit done. Let's verify. We will verify from Router 5, the internet. And we will go to ID Cloud Dash One. This one, right? ID Dash Cloud One. <clears throat> this meeting is being recorded. Okay, we will continue to verify it. Uh, the policy is uh, on the ingress ID cloud dash one. We will select the low latency. We will go straight to the router seven and follow the green link. Let's verify here from router five. We will go to six first, five to six, and seven, three, four, and finally to two. Follow the green link here. So, and does it change on the other prefix part here on the ID only? Still using the one, three, two. And then for the two, no changes. So we only change for this ID cloud dash one only, right? So no changes or no impact on the other customer. So let's continue. <clears throat> so, okay, for the ID Cloud Dust 2, we will configure the ingress policy based on the low cost. And let's go back to our NSO here. ID, Dust Cl ID Cloud Dust 2 here. We'll use the low cost. Anyway. And we expect that from five to eight, one, three, and two. Right? This is the normal part, and this is the low cost peer link selection, like this. <clears throat> okay, done. So ID does two. Okay. Okay, from router five to the ID cloud dust two, we will use eight, one, three, and two. Eight, one, three, and two. Okay, let's continue our use case. Now we want to have the priority internet gateway list. In this case, for the ID cloud traffic only. Go back. Here, we will select to the ID cloud traffic only here. And we will select the priority. And we have the menu to select from the first peer. First peer is 8.7 in this diagram. And we select the Second one, Four. let's fill in the value here. The PRS is that one. Third is AS5. Four is S6. Okay, it does seven, it does one, five, and six. Okay, now let's commit that. 
<clears throat> so it's also still using the BGP ice path prepend policy with various ice path prepend number for these peer links. That's the logic in this menu. And okay, it's done. Let's verify it. This is node five. I will trace out to ID only. And we expect it will come to the AS-7. Okay, eight, seven, three, and two. Okay, to verify that if the first scaling fails or disconnected, it should goes to the second option or second priority, which is the AS-8-1. AS so to simulate the disconnection, I will use the Python script to shut down the BTP session or uh, between router 8 and 7. Okay, now let's see again on this uh, router, five, uh, router 5. Let's do the trace out again, trace out again. And the expectation is the path change uh, to the 8 dash 1. See, it happens from 8 dash 1. Previously, it's uh, 8 dash 7. 8 dash 7. Now it goes to the second priority list side. So, see, here we can uh, have a very straightforward, simple uh, policy automation with the NSO for the interest. Okay. I hope you guys can uh, follow the demonstration and really see the benefit of this intelligent peering fabric automation. So I, I like you guys to have the key takeaway. We have a draft and we have built our automation to solve all these peering use cases. The ingress peering automation, the incoming based on low latency, based on low cost, based on telemetry, right? And also the ingress, the outgoing, the outbound estimation based on this parameter all together. As well as we can have the inbound, the ingress, and the egress outbound resiliency with prioritization. It's very simple, you know, just a matter of click and define it on the NSO or through a REST API for all together policy. And we also can leverage and so capability to automate the gateway policy motion in case you want to swing from one gateway to another gateway for the policy. And we can have the very specific destination policy as well as it's very scalable. We can start from our integrated standalone internet gateway to our distribution distributed peering fabric. So the peer fabric solution that I have just demonstrated is consists of this narrow design. Our Cisco peer fabric platform, iOS XR is the key, and Cisco iOS XR telemetry as well. We can combine with the Crosswork or uh, open source telemetry stack. The segment routing is the very key factor here, you can see here. It's very flexible, very granular, and very simple to configure, as well as the ODN, on-demand, XOP, and part competition element. And of course, our main automation software, NSO, Network Service Orchestrator. Okay, so it is the variety design. Uh, we, it's very reliable. It can be very scalable, can be very granular, telemetry-based, and very fast, you can see I have done all the use cases within this less than, yeah, 
two hours, I can say so now. A very faster time to revenue. We can optimize our peer link utilization. And of course, most importantly, we can improve our customer internet service experience. So I like to record uh, this uh, Jaguar's uh, uh, quotation, I think. Very good. Control your own destiny or someone else will. In, in our case, control your own multi-cloud and peering traffic or something or someone else will. That's from the peering fabric network automation. So this is the additional peering resource you can uh, revert to. Uh, please uh, have take a look. It's very good document, very well documented, and very a lot of resource. I love this uh, all blocks and the segment routing resource. Very uh, good books from Clarence and Chris, which are segment routing books part one and two. Looking forward to part three for the SR physics, as I know. And yes. Please uh, check my YouTube channel as well. I have uh, recorded some segment routing use cases as well as with a segment routing policy or part competency element and ESO in terms of the transport and uh, VPN service and architecture of transport as well. I think later on I will add more video recorded there. And also uh, the segment routing uh, channel on the YouTube. Yeah, it's very good. I think, hope you get a very useful this session. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, feel free to reach me for any uh, update or for any concern. Thank you very much.